At this point, you should have a fully functioning custom product in the admin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom front end views for this product type. If you take a look at your product in the front end, you'll see that it's using the same template that Magento uses for simple product types. We want to be able to display the ticket information on our event page and allow customers to purchase a certain quantity of each ticket type, not a quantity for overall. So we're going to make a few changes to this layout. First, we want to edit our Etsy config.xml file and make sure that we have a front end layout specified. So then in our front end layout, we want to add a handle for our event type. So this handle is concatenated by Magento and it's automatically loaded anytime you're on a product view page. If you scour throughout the Magento code base, you'll see a bunch of other product types, such as product type downloadable, product type bundle. This is how we get custom blocks and custom templates and override various aspects of the product view page specific to our product type. So the few things that I'm overriding, basically I'm adding a new product info section, and actually I'm using the existing default template for the product view. So I don't have to do too much here other than include this block. One thing I am doing, however, is overriding the add to cart template and my version of the template for add to cart is simply going to do away with what used to be right above the button which is the quantity text field so instead we're going to have options section which has quantity next to each of the tickets and this option section is loading the new template So the new template and the new block are the options block and the options template. So the block um, essentially gives us the ticket data, and you should recognize this function from the previous video, where we're getting the ticket data in the block, and that's feeding the template so the template can make basically a list of the options and then do some dynamic pricing via JavaScript here. This is similar to how Magento's downloadable product type functions. So if you're curious, you can refer to that module. So once the, the options wrapper is specified in the layout, uh, there's one more thing we need to do in order to enable it, and that is tweak our, our product type. So our product type needs to return true when Magento asks it if it has options. And the reason for this actually stems from the, the catalog view template. So in the front end, the catalog view template is basically laying out the different blocks on the page. But uh, when it comes time to add the options wrapper, Let's find it. it is right here. Oh, it's in one of these containers. So basically you can see we're checking if the product has options. So this is being called throughout the, the view template. And therefore we have to uh, return true when Magento asks. All right, so let's reload this page and see what happens. So you can see the, the quantity option has been removed from here. And instead we have quantity on each of our tickets. And you can see the pricing being loaded here. And what this is doing is going to add $50 to our base price. If I select one of those and the JavaScript takes over and updates these prices. So let's recap. In order to add our custom view, we had to create a handle for our product type in the front end layout. Then we overrode some blocks and templates in order to get the page to look like we wanted. We also had to make a small tweak to our product type model so that it returned true when Magento asks it if it has options. So that does it for this section. 
In the next section, I'm going to teach you how to program the Magento shopping cart. So stay tuned.